Hello everyone, this is Austin Bach doing another Avicen Restored Draft. Uh, this should be my third and final draft because uh, M13 is out now and uh, I'm going to try to get into the swing of things there. Um, this is kind of a weak pack. There's nothing that stands out to me specifically. Summer World Sage is decent and incidentally the main thing that makes it good is cards like Archangel. Like the seven drops that, like the bombs that can win you the game late game. So uh, I don't know if I want to go there. I certainly wouldn't be taking the Sumberwald Sage over the Archangel. Um, looking at also Human Frailty and Mad Prophet, and then Nettle Swine just after that, probably be the next best card. I think I'm going to go with the Human Frailty here because uh, it's a very good removal spell. There are a lot of humans in the format, and I actually am a fan of black in Avicen Restored. So uh, let's see where that takes us. And then we get past a pack with not a single black card, but we do have a Mist Raven, which is easily going to be the pick here. Uh, if I wanted to continue going black, I could go Butcher Ghoul. I didn't see that the first time, so I guess there is a black card in here, and it's not a bad one. Uh, there's also another Mad Prophet, but um, I'm not sure what the person to my left is going to pick out of the pack I just passed. Could take a Mad Prophet, but... Red's probably going to be cut off at some point, because here's another Thunderbolt, so next pack probably won't have a lot of red, so I'm just going to take a Mist Raven. And got some pretty decent options here. We could go Undead Executioner if we want to continue going black. Uh, there's a Right Ring later uh, if we want to go Red Humans. Scrapskin Drake for uh, Blue Flyers Tempo, which Mist Raven helps with quite a bit. Uh, there's also a Stone Rite. Um, between Stone Right and Right Ring Leader, I'm not sure which is better. I'm probably going to take one of those two, because uh, in a vacuum, they're both better than Scrapskin Drake and Undead Executioner. Um, although, <sighs> I haven't been seeing a lot of black. Um, white might be kind of cut. Red looks pretty open to me, though, honestly. So uh, if I get past like, a Deathwind, I'll be a little upset. But um, I'll take the Stone Right, because I do like those little drop creatures. Um, hmm, Avicen, interesting. Um, go Marrow Bats, continue going black, because that is a very good black card. Soul Cage Fiend is also not bad. Um, there's really nothing else great here, so I think I'll take the Marrow Bats. Um, if I had taken the Summerwald Sage, I would consider Avicen, but she's just too hard to get out, and uh, I'll have to consider some ways to deal with her if the situation ever arises. We play a white player. Alright, so now we're starting to move into black, I think. Here's another Butcher Ghoul, which I'm fine with taking. Uh, Devastation Tide's not great, as I've alluded to before. Nightshade Peddler's pretty good, but uh, green is probably long gone by now. Uh, we could also go Bladed Bracers, but there's not that many blue and black humans. Butcher Ghoul's a fine option. Um... Not a whole lot here. Could take a Spectral Prison. It's a pretty decent removal spell. So, uh, yeah, there's, other than that, it would be Narstod Scrapper, which I'm not a very big fan of. So I'll go with the Scrapper, or the Spectral Prison. Um, we've got an Heirs of Stromkirk, uh, another Spectral Prison, Cathedral Sanctifier, Fleeting Distraction. Not a very good pack all around. I think I'll take another Spectral Prison. Um, there are quite a bit of instants and sorceries that it could kind of negate that, but not that many that people want to cast on their own creatures, so uh, Griff Vanguard looks like a pretty easy pick here. Um, other than that, you know, Righteous Blow if we were going into white, but too late for that now. I'll take a Vanguard. Um, yeah, really nothing here. I'll take a Necrobite. It's fine, I guess. Uh, here, I think I'll just hate something. Um, Lumberknot could be annoying. Let's hide that. And here we get nothing for us. So right now it's looking like black is more... Uh, more going to be what we're looking for. If red is like super open in the next pack, I'll consider it, but we passed quite a bit of good red cards like 
right ringleader and multiple mad prophets and a thunderbolt so uh, I highly doubt that red's going to be available alright still nothing here take that steal that so this isn't too bad um, I'd love to get some uh, like homicidal seclusions and bone splinters and death winds obviously I always hope for the best cards of the color I'm in but doesn't always work out that way but this isn't looking terrible so far need some more creatures and ways to actually you know win the game but uh, I do like me a good blue black control deck and we let's see that's the only black card and it's not good that's not a good blue rare uh, I guess Griff Vanguard is the only thing we can go with here Oily Wolf or Avenger if we're going green, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's really the only option. I'm trying to think of some way to make this more interesting, but it's really the only card for us there. Celis Conscripts is a card I wouldn't mind splashing. Um, and if that wasn't there, we'd be taking Bloodflow Connoisseur. Apprentice is not great. I mean, a Druid's Familiar also. Let's see, we have we only have four black cards, so I think I want to steal the familiar maybe. You know, conscripts is just that much better, I think. I'm gonna hate it and then see if it's worth splashing later. Man, and then we're passing a trusted force mage directly after we passed a uh druid's familiar. Two cards that I do love to play with. Lunar Mystic is not good. Uh Ghoul Flesh, I guess, is our only option again. These have been some pretty weak packs, but uh, let's see, um, we only have one creature below two mana cost, or below three mana cost, so I don't know how good Driver of the Dead's going to be, although it does combo well with Butcher Ghoul with just in general, but I think Soul Cage Fiend is just better. Essence Harvest is great if you're like going green um, and have a lot of big creatures, but Soul Cage Fiend is pretty much the only option there. Um, here we could go Hovengul Scob, since we do have a Mist Raven, and a Zealous Conscripts, now that I think about it. But, um, other than that, it'd be Necrobite or Angel's Tomb, which are mediocre in this uh, kind of deck we're playing. So I think Hovengul Scob's fine. And we also have Griff Vanguards. We've got a fair amount of Enter the Battlefield effects already, and we'll be sure to look for some more. So uh, I think we're still in some pretty good shape. Oh, we get another uh, Witcher Ghoul. I'm happy with that. Also, a pretty late Kruin Striker. This is, what, the sixth pack, I think? So uh, it surprises me, actually, because I thought someone directly to our left was going to be playing red, but apparently they got some better stuff than Kruin Striker, or they're just not going red, but Witcher Ghoul it is. And awesome, we get an Undead Executioner. So it's looking like uh, black is pretty open, actually. So I'm glad we moved in here. So now I think I will pick up the Driver of the Dead. Uh, actually, you know, I think Searchlight Geist is better. Although we do have Double Butcher Ghoul, we don't have many ways to sack it off ourselves, so Drive Through Dead is a little bit diminished in uh, usefulness. Like, we didn't take the Blood Flow Connoisseur earlier. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we have a single human except the conscripts. Although, yeah, actually Griff Vanguard is human, but still Mass Appeal is not going to be very good for us. Like, at best it would be like draw two for three divination, but that is very rare. I'm going to steal something, I think. I'll take the Zealous Strike. That could be annoying. I don't like combat tricks against us. not going to play that, because we don't have a lot of beefy creatures. Like Marrow Bats would be the only legitimate target for that. Um, still trying to decide if I want to splash for the conscripts. Um, it's not out of the question, but I mean, that's one of those cards that, especially if they don't know that we're playing a uh, splash of red, that could just like completely turn a game around. Like, that's one way we could deal with Navison, in fact. You know, just like steal it, swing for eight. No big deal. Which would be nice with Essence Harvest, but I'm not going to bank on that. And I'm also not going to play double Necrobite. Well, I wanted one of those, but whatever. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and stop the video, and I'll...
come back for the last pack.